Hey there guys, welcome to this episode of Pittsburgh Barn Feeders. In this new year of 2020, we're going to have a lot more product review videos and a lot more fishing videos. To start off this new year, we just received this new product from uh, Plessendo. Plus and it's a small little fishing rod and a small tackle bag, I mean box with uh, all the gear you need to go to get you started in fishing. Mostly for like pan fishing, like bluegills, crappie, sunfish, stuff like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up this bag and show you what's inside. It's a really nifty bag to start off with if you're just getting into fishing. First is, you see is a little card that says thank you for picking their product. And if you want to join their um, pre-release pre uh, pro uh, products uh, review and do test reviews on them and do videos for them, that's what they contact us on through Amazon. So we decided to go ahead and uh, get this product and uh, do a review for them. And it comes with a little instruction manual how to get your rod set up and how to put the uh, reel on there. You know, self-explanatory, you know, very simple stuff there. Um, next thing is your, it's your little tackle box. It comes with a bunch of little jig heads, small little bobber, swim bait, and a couple grubs, and bells to put on the top of your rod if you're, you know, for, so you know when you're getting a bite. Uh, you got some bobber stops, and some beads, and a couple weights in here, split shots. So it's a good starter kit, you know, to get you first into fishing. And as you can tell, it's telescopic. We're gonna take the uh, little plastic sleeve off to get the rod out and expand the rod here it's gonna be off camera a little bit but as you can see very small little rod to get you started into fishing I, I think it's not not too bad um, the only thing I dislike about this is the inserts on the reel on the uh, guides they're ceramic inserts I highly recommend getting a rod that has, you know, stainless steel uh, guides because they they work with braided line and stuff like that. They don't chew up your uh, your guides and everything. Now, when you have braided line and you have ceramics inserts, obviously that's going to chew up and you're going to have to get them replaced. But uh, it seems like it's really well built. Nice action on the rod. I'm going to go ahead and put the reel on here. It's a nice uh, five to one gear ratio. Uh, the line capacity on it, four pound if you're using four pound is 250 yards, and then five pound is 200 yards, and six pound is 160 yards. Um, so it's not too bad to start off with, and I like how the, the little switch here, it collapses the handle to make it easier to store away, a lot easier to store away the rod, the uh, rod and reel. But the thing is, what I don't like about it is it's mostly plastic. Um, it's not going to handle up very well if it's made mostly plastic. Um, I think that's going to, this is going to give out real easy in the future. Uh, from going in and out like this constantly. Uh, so that's going to be a problem there I could see. Uh, this is just my opinion. Um, but like I said, it's a good starter kit to, if you're just getting into fishing or if you want to take your kid fishing. Uh, this would be perfect for them. Just get into fishing and then if they drop it and something breaks on it, it's not like they're going to lose money out of it because it's not that you know that expensive but uh, other than that I, I'm really impressed with the the way it is designed in the bag it's real convenient you know everything's all in one big bag one small bag and the rod goes in there and you can throw it right in right on your back seat or your backpack if you're carrying a backpack you can just throw it in your backpack and you're ready to roll um, it'd be perfect for when you're going to go fishing right out of the office if you're just just getting out of work and you want to hit the local creek or something like that this is perfect for that uh, yeah I'm, I'm really impressed with the uh, how convenient it is and it and uh, everything goes and gets compact into a small bag like that other than that that's this uh, product for you and this is uh, if you want to pick one of these up go to Amazon and uh, type in uh, plus now Plus no uh, fishing uh, telescopic rod or fishing rod or fishing kit 
Um, and you should be able to pick up one of these. And they come in multiple colors. I think there's blue and there's red. And I believe there's black. So I think it comes in three different colors. And I got the blue one. And uh, yeah. That's this episode. And hopefully you guys will pick up one of these uh, for your your kids or whatever. Or yourself if you just want to have a small little backup rod. If you're into catfishing like me and my buddy Zach. Uh, we would definitely use this a lot to catch a lot of bluegills to go for big flatheads that we always catch on this channel. And if you're new here and you want to check out those videos, I'll leave uh, a couple of links in the description for you to check out some awesome videos that we have in, from the past. Uh, we caught a, some big fish and we fish a lot with a lot of local uh, fishermen and also some big celebrities on YouTube. Uh, one was uh, Luke from Catfish and Carp. We fished it with him. I fished with him twice, uh, Zach fished with him once with me, and it's going to be multiple more times this year, hopefully, and we're going to break that PB flathead that we set last year at 35 and a half pounds, so hopefully we can catch a really nice sized flathead this year out of our local rivers. Uh, my personal best for this river is 27 pounds. But the whole purpose of this video was to do a review on this, and there will be a future video of us actually taking this out onto the field. And testing it out and put it through his test and everything we're gonna really uh, you know not really try to break it but we're gonna really put it to a test and see how well it can handle up to like a, a decent sized cart maybe or a decent sized channel cat to see how well built the uh, rod is and see where the weak points are so under that I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as always guys happy fishing and tight lines see you next week